Hello, you beautiful souls out there. This is Dr. Destiny. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Destiny Forever Walks. Hi, today I am back to talk to you about the signs of nutrient deficiency. Now, this is a new series that I started last week, which I did the introduction. Today, I am coming back with part one. And last week I told you there are six signs that we should pay attention to. Six red flags about any deficiencies that could be occurring within our bodies. And I'm going to also show you how you can reverse those deficiencies when they are found. But you got to get on it early. So that's what I'm saying. Stay up with your health. Make sure you're seeing your health practitioner. Make sure you send your, send your holistic health doctor or whoever your professional medical doctor or health practitioner may be. So people, there are six of these and today I will only do three. And so last week when I came, when I did the introduction, I told you that, you know, everybody, they need these minerals, they need these vitamins. And the reason why they need them people because it's to keep our bodies healthy, to keep our bodies in the, in the best form of maintenance, to, to keep our bodies going strong and vibrant, being healthy people. But then it comes to a place that a lot of people don't know when they're not meeting the body needs for those minerals and those vitamins and all along the way people there are little telltale signs and they're telling you and your body is constantly always speaking to you telling you what it doesn't need what it does need your body is constantly talking to you daily all throughout the day but there are many Tell tall, well, there are many signs of vitamin and mineral deficiencies that you may have not paid attention to, you may just have overlooked. But anyway, people, if you fall into that place that you do have a nutrient deficiency, then people, you can reverse that if you catch those symptoms and those signs earlier but good news is that often is this if you address the deficiencies the symptoms will either go away or you will improve them all together so let's start talking about the first three because I don't want these videos long at all so again, I want to welcome you all in. I appreciate you, my subscribers, and all the new people, everyone that comes to my channel. This is the channel of Destiny's Path. The Path to Her, which is the acronym I use for health, empowerment, and real foods. And this is what this channel is all about. This is what this platform is all about. I am here to represent the whole man. I am here to represent what the creative universe teaches us about a wholesome and healthy diet in Genesis chapter 1 verse 29. I am here to empower you, to encourage you, to motivate you and inspire you to become your best, better version of whom the creative universe created for you to be. Now eating healthy is the number one thing that we have to do. Eating healthy, plant-based, or raw, nutrient-dense foods. And I did videos talking about nutrient-dense foods and nutrition values and all that. So you may can find those videos on my channel, or you can just do a search. There's plenty of information out there. So my people, let's get started. And I mentioned last week, there are six of these red flags that may tell you you may have deficiencies within your body. And I'm going to tell you three today and how you're going to reverse them and give you a little more information along the way. 
I mentioned those in the video last week, which is severe hair, severe hair loss. Number two was burning sensation in the feet or tongue. And number three was wounds that are slow to heal. And number four is, is bone pain. Number five is irregular heartbeat. And number six is your night vision deteriorates. So today I'm going to do the first three. So I'm going to be looking down a little on my notes so we can get this all in together so we can learn and grow together, people. Let's start with number one. Pay attention to these six red flags or signs for any deficiency and then learn how you might reverse any deficiencies that is found. The first red sign, the red flag sign, is number one, that severe hair loss. While everyone loses about 100 strands of hair a day, people, suddenly you're finding clumps of hair on your pillow. When you lay down, you get up and wow, all this hair come from. You're finding tons and tons and handfuls of hair in your shower drain. Well, people, that is a sign that you need to pay attention to. It could be a sign of bigger issues. It could be a sign such as low iron levels, which affects your energy and your thyroid disease, or it could lead to sudden, suddenly unexplained weight gain or weight loss. Now, if your iron levels are low, then you might also always have these cold feet these headaches and feel dizzy very often. Now, if you have a thought of thyroid disorder, then it can make your muscles weak. It can make your joints just ache, just pain, and your skin will become dry and very pale. Number one is your severe hair loss. Pay attention to that red flag of any deficiency that you may have within your body. So let's talk about how to reverse that. Reversing iron deficiency. Well, people listen, good news is that you can eliminate an iron deficiency with supplements. The recommended daily allowance is eight milligrams for men over 18 years and 18 milligrams for women as well. Now it might take three or even two, four months to remedy it, to get a, you know, to get ahead on that. But my people don't give up because it is doable. It is able to reverse, but you gotta make sure you're doing the right things. Always making sure you're eating those healthy, nutrient dense foods and you're getting nutrients, you get nutrition. <laughs> People, please eat veggies, veggie, veggies and fruits, people, seeds and berries and leafy green vegetables. Just eat plenty of wholesome nutrient foods. Also, be sure to include iron-rich foods in your diet, such as spinach and beans. And that is number one. You may be losing your hair loss. It could maybe be an iron situation that's going on in your body. Number two, people, is burning sensation in your feet and or either in your tongue. Now, have you ever noticed that situation going on in your body? But listen, if you're experiencing this, then it should definitely, definitely sound an alarm. You better talk to your doctor who will likely order a blood test to check your B12 levels. And you almost might have some issues with your balance. You may have issues with constipation and even issues with dry skin. But listen, the vitamin B12 plays an essential role in your health by producing the hemoglobin that it needs, which is a part of your red blood cells that help the cells in your body to receive the life-giving oxygen. And the B12 is needed 
for a variety of systems within your body, like your digestive tract. It helps it to work properly. Now, in addition, the vitamin B12 deficiency can create mild quality impairment. So if you're experiencing any changes in your memory, people, or your thinking or behavior is different and is keyed in a lower place than normal and is way off, you better see your doctor. That is a sign, a sign that you need to pay attention to. Over time, the B12 deficiency can permanently damage your nervous system, traveling up the spine, people, and into your brain. Pay attention to those signs. If there's burning sensation in the feet or tongue, now to vegans, listen, special note to you. Those vegans out there that's on this plant-based diet, they eliminate most foods like your meats and your dairy products. And these meats and dairy products, they are rich in the vitamin B12, which if you're not eating meats and dairy products, then that's going to increase the risk there's a decrease the deficiency of you getting the amount of bound b12 increasing the risk of deficiency but you can get your daily dose from almond milk people that nutritional yeast and fortified sword and coconut milk now listen it can take a long time a very long time to become a deficient in your vitamin B12. But as long as, it may take as long as three years to deplete the liver of this important vitamin. But over time, not having enough vitamin B12 can seriously damage vital functions within your body. My people, this must be addressed. Please pay attention to the red signs, people. Burning these red signs are very important. If you got burning sensations in your feet or tongue, it could be a vitamin B12 deficiency. So let's talk about how raising your vitamin B12 level. Now taking vitamin B12 supplements will bring back and maintain proper vitamin B12 levels. And the body does not create B12 on its own now. So healthy adults, should take in 2.4 milligrams of vitamin B12 daily. For some, especially those with autoimmune diseases like uh, your pronosial anemia, vitamin B12 must be taken in shot form to help carry the B12 directly to your stomach. Now, those are those who have autoimmune diseases like the pronosial anemia, okay? So that is what you may need. Also, calcium, it regulates your heartbeat. So a deficiency, it could cause an irregular heartbeat and even it could lead to pain in the chest. So pay attention to if your vitamin B12 levels it may be off and it may need supplements, people, pay attention. And the last one I'm gonna do today is number three, which is wounds are slow to heal. Wounds are slow to heal. You have wounds that you have hurt yourself or cut yourself and they just stay in lingers on your body for months and after that months and months. That's a sign. You need to pay attention because your wound, your body was created to heal itself and in a proper and quickly time than that. So if you are diligent about brushing and flossing daily, and your gums are just still red. That's another thing. You need to pay attention. Even if your gums are swollen and if your gums bleed, then you might need to boost that vitamin C intake. And another sign might be that you might bruise easily. You notice that every time you turn around, there's a bruise. You don't know how, how you got there. You don't remember falling or bumping into anything or anyone bumping into you. But you always have a lot of bruises and you bruise so easily well then vitamin c12 is something that you need for your body because it's like a cement it pulls the cells together and it makes wounds heal you better hear that vitamin c it pulls the cells together within your body 
and it helps them to heal. It helps those wounds to heal quickly. Now, in fact, vitamin B C, I'm, I'm sorry, vitamin C has many, many powers, including serving as an anti-inflammatory and as an antioxidant to limit damage to your cells. So let's talk about boosting your vitamin C. First and foremost, listen to this, you smokers out there, you need to quit. Boosting vitamin C. First and foremost, if you smoke, take steps to quit because that is going to war against you raising or boosting your vitamin C levels. Among its many negative effects on your health, people, smoking limits your body's ability to absorb the vitamin C that is needed. And also, you must eat more fruits, people, and vegetables that are very high in vitamin C. What type of veg vegetables and fruits are you talking about, Dr. Destiny? Well, I'm talking about these fruits that are high in vitamin C will include like kiwi, red bell peppers, and oranges. And there are so many more out there. You just need to go out there and plug in the information in, in the Google search and it will pull up so much more. Do your research as well. Talk to your healthcare practitioner, practitioner or professional healthcare provider, and they can give you more tips on the things that you may need to be able to boost those levels or in a holistic health coach. Definitely make sure. People, healthy adults should get about 60 milligrams of vitamin C each and every day. And that is something, people, that we need to also pay attention to. So let's go and let's talk about making sure that you are reading those labels out there, making sure you are paying attention to red flags that Things that's happening within your body, all of a sudden it's like, oh, you know, pay attention. Pay attention to the red flags. People, start reading labels, please. Just don't go to that store or to those stores and just pick up, pick up, because my mama use it, my daddy use it, aunt, aunt, soup, whoever. <laughs> you got to read it on your own. You got to take care of your own body. Take care of yourself. So read labels, people. Pay attention to the signs that your body's telling you, this is not what my body needs. My body has too much of this. My body does not have enough of that. That my body is weak. My body is crying for more vitamin C or vitamin B12. Your body will tell you what it needs. Pay attention and get in contact with a health practitioner professional that can help guide you on your path to becoming your best and better self where your body nutrients is strong and healthy and you're eating those nutrient dense meals and you won't have these nutrient deficiency, vitamin deficiency people because you are taking care of the whole man, the mind, the body, and the soul. This is part two. Go back in, in, into part to the introduction part and then, you know, look at this and look at this and study this and then be prepared when I come bring part two, which will be the conclusion, I believe, because it's not very much on this series, but it's a, very lot, it's, a, it's a lot of valuable and important information. Excuse the lighting on my camera today. I don't know. It just, I don't care. Whatever room I have put it in, I'm not picking up the light that I need. It's kind of cloudy looking. My lovely souls, thank you. This is Dr. Destiny. Check out my YouTube community page. I drop questions. If you go and watch these videos, you can go over to my community page and you can answer those questions correctly because you're getting the information from the videos that I'm putting out there. They have been very helpful. The questions, a lot of people are participating in the polls. And I appreciate everyone out there who are doing that, who are sending me comments and telling you how much you're learning, how much you're growing, and how helpful these questions have been for you and that you are improving in your health. I am so proud. Keep going. Keep going. You got this, but you stay healthy, whole, wholesome, healed, and complete. You keep that whole man growing till it grows into the full fruition that it was created to be. Your mind has to be healthy, people. Your body has to be 
healthy people in your soul. I will see you guys at the next video. Namaste, beautiful souls. Watch for the next video coming.